What's going on guys, Oboshoes Games here, and it's no secret that Skyrim is a massive game. Even eight years later, it seems there's always something new to discover. One of the things that separates Bethesda's worlds from all the rest is their attention to detail with the little things. Take for example, the fact that name NPCs all have a routine they follow each and every day, and their activities can reveal a lot about their character. Today, I want to shine a spotlight on one such NPC. Sigurd, the lowly woodcutter of Whiterun. Now, you're probably already aware of where he works, but you may be surprised to find out there's a lot you don't know about him. So grab some mead, strap in, and prepare to learn five things you didn't know about Sigurd. Whiterun is one of the largest cities in Skyrim, but that doesn't necessarily mean there's room for everyone. Sigurd may be a hard-working Nord, but even he can't afford a home in Whiterun's competitive housing market. Did you know that Sigurd actually sleeps inside of Belathor's store? It's honestly pretty sad and pathetic. The poor guy definitely deserves better for all his hard work. You may be wondering what exactly Sigurd does with all that wood he chops. Well, did you know that twice a day, Sigurd takes a trip down to War Maidens to deliver freshly chopped wood to Adrienne? Adrienne is filling that big order for the Imperial soldiers, so I guess she does need a lot of wood. Still though, twice a day is a bit much. Perhaps there's something else going on here we don't know about. After a hard day's work, the people of Skyrim like to kick back and relax with a tall glass of mead. Did you know that at the end of each day, Sigurd goes to the Bannered Mare for refreshment before heading back to Belathor's shop? Between working for Belathor and partying at the inn, I think it's safe to say Sigurd has quite the social life. Sigurd is known throughout Skyrim as being the most stylish guy around. His iconic look is the talk of the town. But did you know you can cop Sigurd's look for cheap? Radiant Raiment in Solitude sells an exact replica of Sigurd's clothes. However, they're technically an illegal bootleg, so make sure Sigurd doesn't catch you wearing them. The Imperials and the Stormcloaks are just two of the many factions a player can side with in Skyrim, but there are a lot more factions in the game than you probably realize. Many towns, homes, and stores have their own faction associated with them, and Sigurd is a proud member of the Whiterun Belathor's General Goods faction, along with his boss, Belathor. This exclusive faction only has two members, so it may not be the most formidable force. But if you mess with Belathor, you best watch your back, unless you want to find Sigurd's axe buried in your skull. So, there you have it guys, five things you probably didn't know about Sigurd. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more Sigurd content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.